So after watching episode 80 of Boruto, a particular thing happened that got my attention and made me question the power of the current Kage. Now we know that Naruto and Sasuke are the powerhouses and even in the novels it was stated that Naruto and Sasuke are basically the powerhouses of the entire shinobi world and it's unfair how they are put in Konoha meaning that Konoha has the best firepower in the entire world. But with Naruto and Sasuke put aside let's talk about the current Kage right now so Kurosuchi, Chojuro, Gara and Darui. In episode 80, we saw Kurosuchi walk out of a hospital or what seems to be a medical facility and she easily got taken out by Lord Ku. And people were raging about this because she is a Kage, she is the powerhouse or she is the leader, she is a form of authority within the rock village and we saw some random ninja or some random dude just jump behind her and just take her out and not only did the guy take her out, he took out her guards and actually managed to capture and seal her inside a cave. That alone is not only disappointing but it also angers her fans because she does have the title of the strongest kunoichi according to the data books and seeing this happen to not just a regular ninja but a kage actually raises concerns about her ability to protect her entire village. Now. I actually come with a different perspective on all of this because everyone is just skipping straight to conclusions saying that she is one of the weakest Kage and we've seen um, how Chojiro took on the seven ninja swordsmen or the new ones or the bootleg ones whichever one you want to call it. He took them on and he seemed to have taken quite some damage. At some point it seemed like he was at the verge of being killed by these ninja swordsmen. We need to remember that these Kage are just normal people who have developed their own skill and it's not as overpowered as like Onoki or you know A or Tsunade's techniques and even though they have special abilities in terms of like bloodline like Kurosuchi has Keke Genkai, she is still no powerhouse like Naruto or Sasuke. So to those people who actually doubt her skill, I will ask you this, who is Lord Ku? And the answer is we don't know. Now people have speculated that Lord Ku could potentially be Onoki's grandson and I can see how Lord Ku could be Onoki's grandson because Onoki is somehow part of this plot because he is getting a lot of screen time and they are putting emphasis on him and his death which potentially is hinted to come right now now this individual that sneaked behind Kurosuchi and took her out we do not know the skill level of we don't know how strong he is where this person particularly comes from and the skill level that is required the rank that is required to take this person down all we know is that he is able to take down the leader of the rock village that should be good enough to alert you or make you understand that this person is not to be trifled with and this person has a high skill level because no ordinary person can just sneak behind a kage and take them out. So I don't think Kurosuchi is weak, I think she has been presented with an opponent who has a better skill level than her. Think about it, when Naruto fought Sasuke the first time at the Valley of the End, Sasuke won the fight, does that mean Naruto was weak? No, because we saw what he did and he was able to overpower Sasuke quite a few times in the fight. It just so happens that Sasuke had better skill and that is why he won. When Kakashi fought Itachi for the first time in the Hidden Leaf Village, when we first saw Itachi in action, did Kakashi lose because he was weak? No, it's because Itachi had better skill and Kakashi himself became a Hokage, right? So if he was a Kage at the time and Itachi came in and took him out that easily, that just means that Itachi just had better skill, not that Kakashi is weak. But people would still be angry because a Hokage got taken down and the point I'm trying to prove is we are just presented with an enemy who has better skill than Kurosuchi. That's all it is. That is the point I'm trying to make. Now I know it's very disgraceful for a Kage to be taken down and <laughs> someone to take over your entire base but at the end of the day remember that these are people who are not super powered like Naruto and Sasuke and do not have these rare bloodlines which allow them to do godly things. So with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and my opinion and I want to know yours. So with that being said check out some of the videos at the end and I have nothing more to say. Bye.